Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to see about how to perform a concurrent request in Flutter. Now let's get started. So here I have created a one example project in Flutter and I have defined uh, models here like uh, for admin model, I have created a first name, last name and type fields and I have created a from JSON to JSON for it and uh, I have also created for user model too and I have created a response as separately like uh, in this response I have just created a base response as a separate class here I will having a status message error I uh, will be extending this in admin response class and after that I have created a user response too for the, for the user so Next, we'll see about the API response. Um, since I don't have any APIs and all, like I have created uh, some sample data here, like uh, user JSON and admin JSON. So this is how my JSON gonna be like status and user, and uh, same like uh, status and admin. So user type is admin and uh, user type is a user. Now let's see. And now we'll create a repository for our. API call. I'll just create on folder call repository. So this I'll just create a user repository. Okay, I'll just create a class user repository. So inside this, we'll get a future function. I'll get you so. It's gonna be a synchronous. So here our return type will be our user response, the model which we created before. So inside this, we have to create object for our response model. Response so call us from JSON here. And so, this since I don't have a, a AP for uh, so, since we have defined uh, already our JSON file here, so we'll just pass it to our user response or user JSON and we have to return. So we have finished our user repository. Oh, I forgot to add a static here. Okay. So uh, next we will have to create a admin repository here. So The future function here for get admins. So our return type will be our main repository and our response. Okay, and so this. Get an object for it. So inside the from JSON, we have to pass our admin JSON here, which we created before. Okay, so I'll just return this. Okay. So we have completed our, our repository here. Now I'll just create a function called get data. 
you know we are some kind of function so okay, i'm gonna call it in inside make state okay so inside the get data we are going to call our repository future functions here so before uh, we will be using uh, our future functions like separately like this call the admin repository and get that admin response and as well as for user response so yeah so this is how we will be uh, calling our future function separately so uh, like uh, here on response not status true will be performing some operation here and likewise here user response this api success will be performing an operation here so this all will be like uh, performing operation like separately so now we'll see how to create a like uh, how to perform the concurrent request here so we have to declare our type initially like since my all of my response is x Uh, extending uh, like base response or just as a base response so I'll call it as a base responses okay so i'll be awaiting the for list of future functions here like uh, future dot wait so instead this will be giving our list of features here just like this in the boss tree dot get that me as well as user response not the user response tree and get user so for getting a response we will be looping our base response here function response let me just sponsor okay so inside this we'll be comparing the response by using this keyword if is the response will be in the response start user data like call it to this on here so after this so if the response is uh, admin response that will comes here response dot admin so this okay so if i run this i'll just run this in uh, chrome i'm not returning anything in a uh, ui i'll just return container We'll just see the console like how the data is coming so yeah when see the console here like the first showing the admin type like first name elliot and alderson we'll just compare this our sample json here like as you can see the response is coming so yeah guys so, so this is how we have to perform our like uh, list of filters in uh, flutter and it's not only for ap calls you can use it for any future function that you need to like uh, to define a list of futures you can use it there so that's all for the today's video guys we'll see you in next video so stay tuned bye